Okay, hello. So if you're new to the channel, I use data to answer questions that are mostly stupid, sometimes serious, and today's video doesn't involve data science at all, really. <laughs> So I came across this channel that seemingly predicted the exact date of death for a bunch of celebrities that passed away in 2020. The channel is called 2020 Vision and all of its videos were uploaded in 2017, about three years before any of these celebrities actually died. And a lot of people are freaking the fuck out for good reason. This channel is obviously very chilling, but as someone who has a good understanding of how YouTube Studio works and also how code can be used to automate the video creation process. I had a pretty good idea of how this channel was making these predictions. And after a bit of targeted searching, I found irrefutable proof that my hypothesis was indeed correct. So without further ado, here is how 2020 Vision seemingly accomplished clairvoyance. The first mystery I want to tackle is the upload date of each of the videos. If we didn't know that these celebrities had died until 2020, how can all of these videos have been uploaded in 2017? So a lot of people have figured this one out already, but it's likely that the person uploaded the video and privated them or made them unlisted and then made them public after they had known when that celebrity died. So what they likely did is they uploaded the video, made sure it was public for a few minutes at least to make sure that the published date on the video said that it was back in 2017 and then quickly privated and they waited and they waited and they waited until I guess a few weeks ago in February of 2021 to make it public again. And this idea is corroborated by a bunch of things. If you look at the Wayback Machine of this channel, there's no archived versions <laughs> up until February of 2021. And yeah, it's true. The Wayback Machine only archives a site that has a bit of traffic. But if these videos had been public for all of that time, they would have gotten views. Even if it had gotten like 50 views or 10 views, that would have been enough to have it been archived by the Wayback Machine. But the fact that it got no views at all means that it's non-existent. Another thing that corroborates this idea is the social blade of the channel. It's existed for four years, but only started to see a rise in views and subscribers since, you guessed it, February of 2021. So all the signs are pointing towards these videos having been private for a long, long time and then being made public all at once. The other thing I want to mention is the fact that none of these videos have comments that are more than a few weeks old, which again, if they were public for all of that time, there would be at least one, <laughs> at least one comment from three years ago or just two years ago or a year ago. Suspicious. <laughs> but all of that doesn't change the content of the video. Even if they did upload it back in 2017 and waited to have it published, how can the exact date in the video be the date that that celebrity died? So I saw people theorizing that, hmm, well, each video is five to six seconds long. So maybe this person just uploaded a video with every single possible date in it. I'm stupid and didn't explain the crucial part of this theory, which is that once you have the video with all the possible dates in it, you can edit it in YouTube Studio after it's been uploaded to YouTube. So the person that's behind the 2020 Vision YouTube channel just had to take the video that's been uploaded and trim out all the irrelevant parts until they were left with the correct date that the celebrity died. So that's how you get a video that says that it's been uploaded in 2017 containing information that you would only realistically know after 2020. The video was edited after 2020. <laughs> but it was uploaded before. So take the video length and multiply it by 365 and you get anywhere from 30 to 36 minutes, which certainly doesn't seem unreasonable, but the solution is probably much simpler because you don't need to upload every single combination of the date because of the way it's formatted. It doesn't say December 31st, 2020 all at once. It says December 31st, 2020 it shows each one. So that means you only need to show each of the 12 months, each of the possible days. So that's one through 31. And then obviously there's one year, 2020. 
But even then, let's assume that they had two years. So it wasn't just 2020, but it was 2019 and 2020. So if we assume that each of those things are, takes two seconds, it's only about one and a half minutes. So yeah, that seems much more reasonable. You can upload several one and a half minute long videos to YouTube within an hour. That's like a piece of cake. Now, the next mystery I want to tackle is the fact that the name appears in the video itself. We all know it's easy to edit the title of a YouTube video after the fact, but they included the name in the video, which seems to indicate that the channel somehow knew that these people were going to die way back in 2017. And this is where people start to get tripped up because the total possible combinations of dates is finite. There's only 365 days in a year. But the number of celebrities that exist in the world, it isn't infinite, but it is a lot, especially when you consider the fact that the 2020 Vision channel has videos on celebrities across industries from countries all over the world. I can't even comprehend the number of celebrities that must have existed from 2017 until now. But you know what? A computer can comprehend that number. Let me propose something to you. You write a simple scraper and you compile a data set of the 10,000 most recognizable people in the world. And then you write a script that automates the video creation that has the same blinking eye animation runs through the possible date combinations that we just spoke about and pulls a name from that list and pastes it on the bottom there. I don't know if that's what this channel did, but it's possible and a lot of signs are pointing that way. For one, you can tell it's the same eye animation across all of the videos. Like the eye pattern is the same when the video says June, for example, and when the video says November and when the video says two or one, and it's always the same when it says 2020. So it's the same eye animation that's being looped. That much is clear. And the reason I think there was some sort of scripting involved is just look at the celebrities included in this channel's videos. You've got Supreme Court justices, reality TV show hosts, Bollywood actors, world leaders, and generally like old celebrities. Like there's no way a single person would know all of these names off the top of their head. So either significant amount of research, which doubt it, we'll get to it, um, or they wrote a script. I'm betting it's the latter. Each video is one minute long and with the script you can upload hundreds of videos per day. So right now the channel has 50 videos that are public, but I would guess that their backlog has like hundreds to potentially thousands of videos that are privated that never will see the light of day because those people didn't die. <laughs> Another thing I need to point out is that all of the celebrities on this channel are people who were known in 2017. There's not a single person on this list who reached celebrity status in between 2017 and 2020, which means that the person behind this channel, when they were sitting down to make the videos in 2017, reached from people who were already well known. And that's why there are several celebrities who died in 2020 that are very high profile that didn't make it onto this channel because nobody knew who they were in 2017. You know, like people like Pop Smoke or Sophie or Sushant Singh Rajput, which is probably the death that shook the Bollywood world to its core the most in 2020. Like all of these people are suspiciously absent from the channel. And another thing that is pointing to it just being like batch uploads of like the 10,000 most popular names or whatever the number is, is the fact that the upload dates of these videos are not in order. Chadwick Boseman died after Little Richard died, but his video was uploaded before. And that's the case for pretty much all of them. I'm not going to go through every single video, but it's all out of order because there is no order to this. It's all just computer generated. And now let's finally get to the irrefutable proof. So this 2020 Vision channel has a Discord and I popped in there, started messaging some of the most active members and eventually I struck gold. One of those members sent me a Google Doc in which they had compiled 28 unlisted videos from the 2020 Vision channel. So let's take a look at a couple of those videos. You got people like Mark Hurd, Nikki Lauda, Peter Mayhew. But the curious thing about all of these celebrities is that they died in 2019 and that the dates in these videos all say 2019. Huh? 
So was this channel originally supposed to be 2019 vision? It looks like it, and this also confirms several parts of the theory. Namely, unlisted videos, check. That they're editing the videos to display the correct date, check. And that they have a massive backlog of videos with celebrity names from every corner of the world. I mean, it's just crazy. The unlisted videos contain everyone from Doris Day to Ross Perot to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. So there you have it. This is either someone who's got loads of free time or someone who's pretty handy with automating the video creation process. I just want to quickly say this channel is not the first of its kind. I remember five or six years ago, there was a YouTube channel that seemingly predicted the winning Powerball numbers before the numbers were even announced, and it did it week after week after week. And of course, with hindsight, we all know that they employed a very similar technique to what 2020 Vision is doing. They showed every possible combination of numbers and then just trimmed it so that the winning numbers were shown after the winning numbers had been announced. I so clearly remember this channel, but apparently it was terminated. However, the internet is forever. <laughs> and I was able to find a Reddit thread talking about this channel and linking to one of its videos. So I promise it did exist. Does anyone else remember this? <laughs> and I came across another Reddit thread actually of some guys doing the same thing on Twitter. They had an account called NFL Corruption and they predicted the winning team soon late before the games had taken place. If you're watching this video at this point, you know exactly how they did that. So there you go. Time is a flat circle. <laughs> the thing that's different about 2020 Vision is that its concept, unlike Powerball predictions and unlike NFL corruption, which is all like fun and games, 2020 Vision's core concept is utterly gross. It is profiting off of death for clout. I don't know, it rubs me the wrong way. I haven't seen many people make that point, but like this, like I know, ugh, ah. popping in to say, we don't necessarily know the intention of the person who created this channel. Uh, it looks like it might be advertising a musician named Ellie Space, but there isn't any explicit connection there. Um, it doesn't look like the videos are monetized in any meaningful way. It doesn't look like there's been any sponsorship. So maybe this is just like a fun internet social experiment. Either way, I still think this idea of toying with celebrities' lives whether they're dead or not, is really disrespectful to all of those people. Or there have been a number of copycats who were inspired by this original channel. I'm talking about 2021 Vision, 2030 Vision, 2025. The creator has said that they're all frauds. They're all not the same person associated with this channel. But what's even grosser about this new crop of channels is that they make videos about people who are still alive. Uh, the one who predicted that Charlie D'Amelio died got really big because it led to fans like hounding both Charlie and her family to see if she's okay and if she's alive, which is like so not okay to make parents worry about the fact that their 16 year old daughter had died in a car accident and that they didn't know about that. So uh, really gross and the implications of it, we have yet to see the full ramifications, but they are plenty, let me assure you. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about how we as a society <laughs> treat celebrity deaths and like the weird relationship we have to celebrities in that like we feel like we have to mourn them even though we don't know them as people and it's actually something i've been wanting to for a long time and do a video about and maybe i will but i have like four videos in the pipeline right now <laughs> that i need to do but yeah let me know if you'd be interested in watching that or if you have any thoughts about how we treat celebrity deaths or tragic events in general. I think in most cases, it's not great how we treat them. I clearly have more nuanced thoughts there, but I'll save that for that future video whenever it comes out. But yeah, that's the end of this video. If you liked it, if you learned something new, go ahead and drop a like, go ahead and give me a comment too for that engagement. Uh, let me know, did you know about this channel beforehand or did you just click on this video because it had an interesting engaging thumbnail? I doubt it because I don't know my way around Photoshop and I'm mostly fumbling when I make thumbnails. So if you got any tips for thumbnails, let me know too. I'm all ears. Give me those comments. More so than that, give me a subscription if you like this video and you like what I'm doing here and you're interested in data science, although this wasn't a data science heavy video, obviously. 
I do post a lot of that here. So if that sounds like something you would enjoy, subscribe, hit that bell maybe. <laughs> and I will catch you all in the next one. Cool? Cool. Bye.